Welcome to Intrek. Today's adventure will be unlike anything you've seen on this channel before. We're about to witness a magical journey as we simulate how ants build a complete empire in just 180 days. From hunting for food to nurturing their larvae and so much more. I even threw in a few challenging characters to spice things up for the bosses. Let's see how they handle it. Day 1 in the early days, our ant colony is being carefully nurtured in a test tube. There are seed-eating species, but they also have a sweet tooth. You think it's this? Hmm, I'm not sure either. I'll try giving them candy in the next episode, so make sure to stay tuned. Over the next few days, it became clear that they had outgrown the small test tube. They even started trying to break their way out, so I decided it was the perfect time to give them a bigger home. I started connecting the tube to another tank with a larger area. One ant came out first and gradually, other ants followed it. Of course, the queen had to be moved as well. With a little encouragement from the worker ants, she quickly followed along. Hurry up, guys! Bring our food supplies and let's move to the new home! I'm coming! Eventually, the whole colony moved to the new home and they began exploring. I let the queens get accustomed to their new place for a few days. Day 7, although the ants are small in size, they work incredibly well together, strong and united. I'm going to place a worm inside to see if what I've said about them is true. As soon as the ants spot the fresh prey, they immediately switch to defense mode, with the worker ants surrounding it. One of them uses its mandibles to bite through the outer shell of the worm. Guys, don't let it escape! Move away! Don't climb on me! Surrounded! Guys! Okay! okay bus! bus! Get out now! I'm so hurt! Stop biting! I'm not food! So delicious! <laughs> Let's eat! Okay! Bus! <laughs> With a thick layer of ants covering the worm, it has no chance of fighting back. The poor worm had to say goodbye and will now serve as food for the colony in the coming days. Day 30, the ant colony is focused on protecting the larvae and collecting food. This is a crucial stage for their population growth. The queen ant has made significant progress so much, so that she's sitting on a layer of larvae, a clear sign of the colony's development. Alongside the queen, some worker ants are caring for the larvae, one that's ready to become either a worker ant or something else. Oh, besides seeing a tiny ant preparing to mature, I also witnessed the sad sight of a worker ant that had passed away. I carefully picked it up and examined it, but I couldn't determine the cause of death. It was truly unfortunate, so I placed it back in its original spot. Soon after, other ants arrived and carried it away to its burial site. It's remarkable how the colony takes care of its own, even in death. With the increasing number, the space has gradually become cramped, so we wanted to move them to another place. We took the test tube and carefully moved them to a larger. This is her new home. Day 60, I provided some protein. Specifically, a cockroach I had killed earlier. For the ants, and what happened next was truly remarkable. All the young ants seemed to really enjoy the food, quickly surrounding the bait. This is a clear sign of the colony's rapid development after nearly 8 weeks. While one side of the colony was surrounding the cockroach, on the other side, there were newly matured worker ants. They had light brown exoskeletons, and you could easily spot them when they stood next to a fully grown ant. Day 100, I placed half a chicken leg inside. This is the leg I carefully picked out from a thousand others. If the bosses don't like it, I'll soak for 1,000 days. And within seconds, one of the worker ants discovered the precious piece of meat. What you're witnessing here is the very first time I've introduced fresh meat to the colony. They tore into the meat quickly, likely intrigued by the fresh blood and skin of the chicken leg. Many ants focused on the exposed parts of the meat, using their sharp mandibles to bite into the softer areas. 
It seems they also enjoyed the taste of fresh blood on the chicken claw. Since day 60, I've only been providing seeds, water, and sweet nectar. So I think adding the protein from the chicken leg will be beneficial for taking care of the boss ants. In no time, they had gathered in full force. They started at the open joints of the chicken leg, biting into those spots. I think these exposed areas will help the boss ants relieve some of the strain on their mandibles. Watching the boss ants enjoy such a perfect meal truly makes me happy. It's beyond anything I could have imagined about the colony's growth. With worker ants appearing everywhere and the larvae growing bigger each day, it's incredible to witness the strength and development of the colony. Day 120 I wanted my boss ants to have a more colorful experience, so I created a box with three compartments. I built this box and prepared a nest at the back to serve as a long-term home for the bosses. The house is ready. The three levels are each equipped with three different food sources. At the top floor, I gave them a basket of seeds. Hmm, add another piece of apple. On the second floor, we provided them with worms. On the bottom floor, I provided a few cockroaches. Now it's just time to move the bosses. I introduced the bosses first. At first, a few ants ventured in to check the area. Once they found it safe, they quickly went back to call their teammates and before long, the entire army had arrived. One hundred eighty days ago, I started raising a small colony of seed-eating ants. And now, this is what I have after 180 days. It's truly astonishing how the seed-eating ant population has exceeded all my expectations. Watching ants, I've learned that strength doesn't lie in size but in unity. An ant may be tiny, but together, they can create wonders similarly. When we humans join hands and stand united, we can overcome any challenge and achieve extraordinary things. Would you like to own an interesting ant colony like this? If you do, leave a comment to let us know. Thank you all for sticking with us and watching until the end of the video. And Strack is truly grateful for your support and promises to bring more exciting and informative videos. Leave a comment so we can create the content you want to see. Thank you again and don't forget to like and subscribe. And Strack loves you all.